8 a.m. guys this is the morning after Odette hit Tagbilaran city there is a devastation everywhere you can see uh, several houses uh, which are damaged a lot of trees uh, are down it's uh, I have no words. Damages are reported all over the island. Tagbilaran city were not even in the eye of this typhoon. The eye of this typhoon was up in the north, so I cannot imagine the situation up there right now. Last night was a night that a lot of people in Rainbow Hall will remember for a long time. The most devastating typhoon hitting the island. We were kind of prepared here. It was announced that the typhoon was coming. It was announced that it's going to be strong, but nobody thought it's going to be something like this. It was like signal number two two days ago. And then they bring it up to signal number three yesterday within the day. And by the night, when it did landfall, it was already signal number four. It gained strength. It moved to Cebu over the night. I wouldn't know what's the situation there. But I hope that everybody's safe. Of course, we don't have electricity here. We don't have water. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be like this for several days because before they can restore the electricity, at least here in the city, that's a lot of work. I'm now trying to go to out from the city. I would like to go to Dimiao to visit my parents to check on them because uh, I cannot reach them last time I heard from them they lose uh, part of the roof in their house and it's very hard to to connect at the moment network is low it's uh, not even the any radio station I'm trying to check any radio station not even one is working all the radio stations are down. I believe that that would have been very important to have proper information, at least for the people that they lost their home, they lost their roof. They should disseminate the right information. That one thing that concerns me a little bit, there's no information at the moment. There are, I saw very few patrols around like police or like ambulances people are just standing there in the street in shock you can see it in their eyes you can see it in their face they are lost they don't know what to do i'm now looking also to do gasoline to do some a gasoline station that is open now they're open but uh, i i couldn't find anything open People are queuing up at the bank to get money. This is the situation at the plaza. Look, the trees. So you can only imagine the wind last night. I think it was reported winds until 240 kilometers per hour. I 
can see a lot of stores are closed. I wouldn't know the mall if they're open. This is the city center, we are in downtown. Jollibee is closed, McDonald's is closed. I think the mall are still closed. But yeah, this is the situation we have. Aktab Vilaran at uh, exactly 7 and 53 a.m. I hope everybody's safe out there. We need to recover from this. Bohol was just starting to reopen for tourism. And uh, this, uh, this will be very hard for us to recover. Even given the time, we are just like uh, less than 10 days away for, for, from Christmas. It was a year that it started in a bad way and it even ended in a worse way for Bohol, but we will, we will recover. So I will be going around the island today, so I will be updating you on the situation here. But please everybody stay safe, stay strong. The worst is over, the worst is over at least here. This is what is going to happen probably in Palawan tonight. Please be ready if somebody's watching from that area. This is how it left Bohol and this is what is going to your way right now. So please everybody stay safe and God bless you all. GoPro stop recording.